three strikes again! Here it comes! I got your back! Here you go. Let's go! The decreed hour is come. Set forth with my blessing, Prince Noctis. Thank you, Your Majesty. Take your leave and go in the grace of the gods. Right. <sighs> Well, princes will be princes. So much for royal protocol. Not like you had to deliver a formal address. Your Highness! What now? I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great burden on those who would bear with you. <laughs> You're one to talk. I ask not that you guide my wayward son, merely that you remain at his side. Indeed, Your Grace. We'll see the Prince to Altissia if it's the last thing we see. Yeah, what he said. Hate to break this up, but Kor's got the motor running. Drados, he's in your hands. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bride-to-be. Your Majesty as well. Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. You have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. You think I would? I need only know that you are ready to leave home behind. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son. I think we can forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. Yeah, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. Well, you're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself to the brink of death. You get up. <sighs> Come on, car isn't gonna move itself. Sheesh. Uh, I thought the car was supposed to move us. Wouldn't that be nice? Can it? Ready, steady. Really? Uh, push!
Not exactly a fairy tale beginning, huh, Prince Noctis? We let ourselves get carried away. Look, these things happen. Let's just hope this isn't some omen. Gladio, do me a favor. What? Push this thing by yourself. All by myself? You won't even notice if we just let go. Hey there, y'all kept a girl waiting. Now, which one's the prince? Aha! Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch just yet. Lady Luna Freya's groom to be here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking so long. <laughs> you best save your apologies for Papa. Well, that makes you. Cindy. Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Roll her in while I'm still young. Didn't your daddy tell you? She's a custom classic, not some beat up old clunker. Prince Noctis. Uh, yeah. Prince. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. What? You got a long way to go, son. And that slack jaw's getting you nowhere fast. She's gonna take a while. Y'all get her in and run along. <sighs> Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. Right this way. Now, play the waiting game. Uh, never liked that game. Never any good at it either. Y'all ain't never been out this way before, have you? Go on, have a look around. This'll make sure y'all don't get lost. A moment, knocked. We've expended the last of our funds on the repairs. I suggest we confer with Cindy. Broken down, and flat broke. Adding insult to injury. Old man's in for both after charging us that much. She ain't gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? Hate to ask, but could we borrow some cash? Oh, now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was gonna teach them boys a lesson. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're up to the challenge. How about it? All according to Sid's plan. I say we play along and teach him not to underestimate us. But don't go running around after dark. The demons are liable to rip y'all to shreds. Here, this ought to be enough for a place to stay. 
Just between us, though. Don't tell Papa. Better make tracks. Ignis, we're going. On my way. Nowhere until the repairs are done. Then we head for Golden Key. Then after that, we hop a boat, and before you know it, lover boy's hitched. Wait for car repairs, then wedding bells in the air. Got it! Hey, ha! Warp strike to catch him off guard! Hey! Yeah! 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 I must say, I'm amazed. What can I say? <laughs> nice. Mission complete. Who could this be? Hello? Hey, it's Cindy. How goes the hunting? Actually, we just finished. That's great, because I got one more hunt for y'all. Only this time, it's for a person. Fella named Dave went off, and we ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Uh, oh, got it. We'll take a look. So, what did Cindy say? Needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack. this knocked get out of here you okay we are now spoke too soon I'm going all out just don't get to back you want to talk Hey, what about the shack over there? Hey, who's out there? Well, and look who's in here. The man of the hour. Dave, right? <laughs> Been looking for you. Didn't mean to cause y'all any trouble. I've been stuck here on account of my sprained ankle. Yeah, something funny about them varmints. I gave them hell, but couldn't finish the job. Still one mean mud about. Well, y'all don't look much like hunters, but what do you say? Put that puppy to rest for me? Oh, yeah. We'll take care of it. Y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw them. Way to show some spunk. Now let's get ready to kick some tail. Like a father to her. Ever since they got back, Sid's been the only one looking after her. Rather more than a middling mechanic can handle. All things considered, I'd say she turned out okay. Well, like any girl, you just need to treat her right. Treat her wrong and Sid will stuff his wrench with a sun don't shine. Take care of the car, and it will take care of us. Yeah, the car. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if we'll ever sit inside that beautiful car again. Sitting most of the day was pretty nice. Napping was even better. 
Over there. That's it, right? Huh. That's a dual horn? Yes, but not your run-of-the-mill breed. We'd best make quick work of it. Wait a sec. Uh, what? Scared, big guy? You ought to be, too. Things vicious. You sure? Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! <laughs> yeah! Show those balls! Nice one. It's not over yet. <laughs> Ready for round two? Bring it. Or what? I'll give you that. Ring, ring. Hello? Hey, Dave just called and said he's safe. Thanks for finding him. Okay. Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. Oh, while well, I got ya. If y'all want to fix her up before you roll out, let me know. Sounds good. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. So, who's up next behind the wheel? Ignis should take it and never let go. It helps that he can keep four eyes on the dash. <laughs> I couldn't even keep one. Not sure I'd do any better. Put me in the driver's seat. Good. Because I need the leg room in back. It's rude to keep a girl waiting. You better apologize. Uh, uh, what is that? A live hurricane. That thing's like half bird, half storm, half airship. You realize that's three halves. Well, it explained its size. <laughs> awesome in every sense. Sorry about the wait. Ain't she pretty? She's almost too pretty for the road. She's back! We should all get a picture with her. All the more reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa like grandkid. Now that she's all polished up and ready for the road, would you care to take her for a little test drive, Noct? Not sure I've got what it takes. I see. Then allow me to take the wheel. Everything in order? Yep. All right. Hammerhead is like no garage ever. You know? One would expect no less of purveyors to the crown. Ah, <sighs> I'll miss it once this road trip's over with. Huh? There's no reason you can't pay them a visit anytime you please. I'm sure Cindy will be glad to look after your car. Oh, right. So, that's what this is about. If you need, I could always lend you the regalia. Whoa! <laughs> uh, thanks for the offer, but... Once we're back in the Crown City, I think I'd better score my own wheels. What do you say we pull over for a minute? Yeah, my throat's bone dry. Sounds like grounds for a pit stop. Sounds like a waste of time and money.
You all came all the way out here to deliver the goods. Well, thank you kindly. We'll take it out of the trunk so you all just sit tight. Hmm? Uh, Umbra. Bringing us stuff. Had a boy. A dog can really track a scent. Certainly knows how to find us. How do you always know, boy? <sighs> Just a sec. Nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh, yeah. Sill blossoms. So... I have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure. That's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. All set. Take care out there. I know. You're not gonna tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? <sighs> you don't say. Now that our work's done, let's see ourselves to Golden. Yeah. So, uh, you thinking to fairy tale Lady Lunafreya back to the Crown City? Nah, no need to rush to happily ever after. Wow. Still can't believe you're actually tying the knot, dude. How does it feel now that it's finally happening? Fine, I guess. Ah, come on, you can't fool me. Any guy would be over the moon to marry her. No big deal. Yeah, whatever. For our next story, Lady Lunafreya of Tenebrae has issued an official statement regarding the forthcoming treaty. Words cannot express the joy in my heart on receiving word of this coming peace, nor the pride I take in my betrothal playing a part in this historic moment. On this joyous occasion, some have voiced cause for concern. The fear I will be unable to fulfill my duties as Oracle. Please rest assured, my marriage will not stand in the way of my calling. You will find me in your towns and villages as you always have, and I shall continue to bless you all. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the coming days. Please be advised that during this time alone, her duties as Oracle will be suspended. It's in the treaty? Of course. Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. Her ladyship seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. And Noctir likes the idea. <sighs> What's that? I do? Buzz off. Hey! I see the sea! I see it too. That's Golden Key. Kinda wanna go for a dip. That a big mountain behind it? No, it's an island. Nobody goes to Golden for an island, though. They go to kick back and get massages. And say with the seafood. It's famously delicious. Sounds great. Something to look forward to. Might want to stock up on potions and stuff. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean for a change? Ready to set sail. Just gotta find my sea legs first. A feature on the wedding. And get a load of Lady Luna Freya's dress. That's some fancy fabric work. Bet the groom can't wait to see it on his bride-to-be. Uh, he's not the only one. Whew. She's gonna be an absolute knockout. And the dress is bespoke, of course. Now comes courtesy of one of Altitia's foremost fashion designers. 
<laughs> Bet the food's gonna be pretty damn fancy, too. Eh, as long as it's something I can eat. As opposed to dissect. Ugh, royally embarrassing. Can't wait to taste some Altitian seafood. Golden's famous for fish, too. Fish sounds good. Welcome to Golden. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. <laughs> What's this? Some sort of souvenir? <gasps> they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. <sighs> oh, yeah, right. Oh. <sighs> You believe what that guy said about the port being closed? I'm skeptical, though I won't discount the possibility. I say we go check it out for ourselves. Ah, man. Not a ship in sight. What gives? What's all this about the port closing? <sighs> Some kind of holdup in Altitia. Guess we have to... According to my sources, the Empire. Given strict orders not to let any vessels leave the docks of Altitia. Real shame if you were late to your own wedding. Right, Prince Noctis? Name's Dino, by the way. Pleasure. The Crown Prince of Lucis bounty hunting in his fancy car. Surely you didn't think it'd go unnoticed. At least not by this reporter. Lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you want to remain incognito, I'll respect your wish. In exchange for a favor. I don't owe you anything. Wait, we mustn't rub him the wrong way. The sound of tacit agreement. Here. Marked where you need to go on your map. All you gotta do is find me some rough gemstones, like this one. Do this, and your ship will come in. Don't, and the papers will run you out of town. Capiche? He's really got your number, Knox. Huh. Not like we made much effort to keep it secret. Even if we had, the press always finds a way. We needn't befriend him, but we'd best not make him our enemy. <laughs> O-M-G. <laughs> We're supposed to get near that thing? Pipe down before you wake it up. Kid, sorry for giving you such a hard time. I just had to get my hands on this, even if it meant blackmail. You understand, don't you? You see, I'm a reporter by day and an amateur jeweler by night. This elusive little beauty's gonna become a masterpiece. To make it up to you, I'll share a little scoop. That special coin you got? It commemorates the Oracle's ascension. That guy was tossing them out to everyone. Must have picked them up back in Niflheim. And speaking of freebies, here's one from me. Come back if you want to buy more. I doubt a souvenir like that could make its way into the hands of an ordinary citizen. Oh well, it's our pocket change now. Let's learn from history and book a place this time. 
As promised, I'm in the process of securing your ferry tickets right now. Told you, I'm a man of integrity. Should be smooth sailing from here. So let me know when you're ready to ship out. I admit I didn't expect Dino to secure us a ship. Well, must be pretty connected if he can pull some strings around an Imperial embargo. Yeah, that guy's one artful artisan. You guys ready to set sail? Already? The ship won't arrive till tomorrow. How about you find a place to spend the night? Well, it's kinda early, isn't it? Nah, it's cool. Hey, uh, morning. Where's Specs? Should be back any minute now. What's that look for? It's in all the papers. What is? Insomnia... false. What? This is your idea of a joke? I need you to calm down so I can explain. I'm as calm as I'm gonna get! There was an attack. The Imperial Army has taken the Crown City. As treaty room tempers flared, blast lit the night sky. When the smoke about the Citadel had cleared, the King was found dead. No, wait. Hold on. We had no way of knowing. What? Knowing what? That the signing was last night. That insomnia... But the wedding! Altitia! I know. That was the plan. Yet the reports of the invasion are all the same. How could every headline in the Kingdom be wrong? If only... <sighs> what else do we know? Uh, well, then we can't be sure until we see it with our own eyes. And that means we go back to Insomnia. It might not be safe for us there. It might not be safe for us here. Turn back. Next time on Final Fantasy XV. Hello? Core? So, you made it. What the hell's going on? Where are you? Outside the city. With no way back in. Makes sense. <sighs> makes sense? Are you serious? What about any of this makes sense? The news just told me I'm dead, along with my father and Luna. Listen, I'm heading out to Hammerhead. <sighs> About the kid, it's true. <laughs> if you're looking for the whole truth, you know where to find me.
Get moving. <laughs>